Hey, it's Sam from Kibble Equipment, and I'm gonna show you some things on this machine that take it from being a John Deere sprayer to a complete game changer when it comes to weed control. The 412R sprayer behind me is equipped with a system called See and Spray Ultimate. The See and Spray portion of that is the ability for the cameras on the boom to identify and individually spray a weed that it sees down to a half inch in size. Now there are two systems, one called Select. That's the ability for the cameras to identify a weed against a brown or fallow surface. See and Spray Ultimate, which is what this machine is equipped with, is the ability for those cameras to identify a weed versus a crop like soybeans, corn, or cotton. Now the foundation for the control that it takes to spray an individual weed in the field really starts with the Exact Apply nozzle body system. Now the system has been available in a similar form for several years for John Deere and Hagee sprayers. What makes this system a little bit different on Sea and Spray Ultimate is that we actually have two solution lines running to each nozzle body instead of just the one on Exact Apply systems on other sprayers. The reason we have two solution lines is that we can actually control spray from each individual nozzle and spray a different solution mix out of the front and the rear nozzles at the same time. Now, as you could probably guess with a system called C and spray, a lot of the technology is gonna be located back on the boom, starting with the cameras. There are 36 cameras that feed into 10 different computers or VPUs, vision processing units, across the width of this boom that monitor 2,100 square feet of ground for weeds a second. So a lot of data getting processed by this machine every single second that it's running in the field. Now the technology on this boom is not just limited to the things that have wires run into them, it's also in the structure and design of the sprayer boom itself. Now this is a 120 foot carbon fiber truss style boom that is only used on a sea and spray ultimate sprayer. The reason for this boom is that to be hyper accurate with spraying individual weeds, the boom has to be very structurally sound, stable, and at a very accurate height when running through the field. Which leads us back to things that do have wires connected to them, like the boom track system that is all new for sea and spray ultimate, called BoomTrack Ultimate. Now BoomTrack Ultimate does need to be paired with this specific boom, but because of some upgrades to boom suspension, additional hydraulics, sensors like this inertia sensor here, uh, it is able to maintain a height of plus or minus 10 inches from the set point 95% of the time while running through the field, which makes it significantly more accurate than any other competitor or even our current BoomTrack 2 system that's available on steel booms today. Now you may be watching this video and thinking, okay, there's a lot of technology, right, built into the boom as far as the ability to see a weed and spray an individual weed, the technology to keep the boom at the perfect height, but how does this thing really save me money, especially if residual herbicides are a big part of your chemical program? That's actually where we can really save a lot of time and money with this unit because you can put down a residual herbicide and a see and spray contact herbicide at the same pass at the same time. That's what this split tank behind me is for. The front split on this tank is a 450 gallon tank. The rear one is a 750 gallon tank. Now, why are they different sizes? The 450 gallon tank is really, in this scenario, gonna be your sea and spray tank. So it's gonna be doing spot spraying. Your rear tank is plumbed into the front nozzle on your exact apply nozzle body, and that's gonna be used for your broadcast residual herbicide pass. You can do them at the exact same time because this thing has two completely separated solution systems built into it, which in conjunction with the product reclaim and recirculation features that are a part of this solution system, they can add up to a ton in chemical savings.